In the hope of creating a blue wave in the Senate, Democrats raised about $407 million to unseat Republican incumbents. But despite all the money, the wave never came, and Republicans have held their ground. In Maine, Republican Senator Susan Collins, who did not endorse President Trump, won re-election against Democrat Sarah Gideon. Gideon had raised $69.5 million and Collins had $27 million. In Kentucky, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell kept his seat against Democrat Amy McGrath, despite McGrath outraising McConnell by $33 million. In South Carolina, Democrat challenger Jamie Harrison made headlines by breaking the record for his final quarter fundraising of $57 million. He raised a total of $109 million to try and unseat Senator Lindsey Graham, but still lost. There was never really a good reputable poll that had him, um, Harrison, Jamie Harrison, the Democrat, leading. And I think that shows that we may have put way too much of an emphasis on um, how close this race was, we being the media, because there was so much money spent there. Um, and it ended up being that, that uh, Harrison raised a lot of money, but just could not overcome how conservative that state really is. In Iowa, Republican Senator Joni Ernst defended her seat against Democrat Teresa Greenfield. Greenfield raised 47.5 million, Ernst had 23.7 million. In Montana, Senator Steve Daines held his seat for the Republicans against the state's Democrat governor, Steve Bullock. Bullock had 43.4 million and Daines had 27.1 million. And finally, in North Carolina, Republican Senator Tom Tillis declared victory over Democrat challenger Cal Cunningham. Although the Associated Press says the race is still too close to call, Cunningham brought in 47.5 million while Tillis raised 22.4 million. This is not a new theme, it's not a new phenomenon. In 2016, Hillary Clinton also outspent Donald Trump. Sometimes money just is not enough to move the needle. Um, and I think we sort of, we view it as we try to grasp onto these, these things that we can latch onto before we know the outcome of the race. One of them being polls, another one being money that we can put too much um, emphasis on. In his victory speech, Senator Lindsey Graham offered his take on the phenomenon saying, all the liberals in California and New York, you wasted a lot of money. This is the worst return on investment in the history of American politics.